Hey there, y'all. Welcome to my front door. I told you all in several videos ago that I was going to redo my front door, and that is what I just got started on. Recently, I've discovered this lady on Instagram that I am in love with. She has an Instagram page and also TikTok called Dress Your Decor. You have got to check out this woman. But I saw a TikTok that she had posted where she painted her front door and she has the exact same door frame that I have and she painted the door black. Well, she painted the frame and everything black and I never thought to do that. The minute I saw her TikTok, I was done. Dress your decor. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna insert the TikTok right here so you can see it so she gets credit for my inspiration. But I've decided to redo my entire front door, inside and out. So I haven't done anything except for clean my door. This is what I've got right now. I'm going to keep my black little wrought iron thing because I love it. I paint it, it's getting kind of worn. But let's go inside. Hey guys, hey. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint all of the trim black so that it matches the door instead of just the door. So everything's gonna get a fresh coat of paint. Right, Pollux? If you get up close, see how this is all scratched? Maxi has scratched up the door. So I'm gonna get everything sanded. <laughs> Pollux is gonna help me. And this is probably gonna be a three day job because I think I'm gonna need three coats of paint, but I'm so, excited i've been waiting for the weather to cool down a little bit to get this done and it's like 4 30 in the afternoon right now and this is the time of the day when the sun is not on my front door so i'm headed out to paint the outside so i went to lowe's and asked them the best paint for an aluminum door and this is what they told me to get the valspar duramax and i didn't actually pick out a custom color they have black i did get satin they have black as a standard color in the Duramax. And so that's what I said, just give me black. I bought one of these little cup holders so that I could easily do this my whoop, myself. And this is my paintbrush. Wall and trim, two inch short angle brush. Mooey, get down. So this is my inside, which I already got one coat of paint on. Sorry y'all, I did not record much of the before but look look at this it's definitely going to take two or three coats i think to get this entire door done but i have coat one on and i think it's looking so good what do y'all think is it looking good i cooked one of one of our favorite lasagnas it's a chicken and asparagus lasagna and i'm back outside you can tell it's dark but my porch light is on and I'm gonna try to finish the first coat on the outside. I've got one coat inside. I need to finish the outside, let it cure, and then I'm gonna get back at it tomorrow afternoon. Look how much better this looks. Just, I'm not done up here, but just with that black edge. <sighs> and see, there he is, the chirper. Uh-huh. And then here's this one. Look at this one. They're bugs. <laughs> hey, bugs. What are you doing? <laughs> Looking pretty good. I'm getting ready to start coat number two. Pollux is going to help me. Hi, right, Pollux. So it's now the next morning, and here's what I learned. I was out here with the crickets last night. Y'all, literally, I was out here in the dark. Randy had to go to the ice cream shop to do a couple things, some maintenance things, and so... 
after we had dinner it was dark outside and i thought this was the perfect time to come paint my door so my porch light was on the crickets were chirping the dogs were watching me through the window and i painted i wanted to show you i painted one coat of paint on the trim i did not actually paint the door last night because it was getting kind of chilly my plan was to get up this morning and paint the door well i didn't even think about the fact that the door was going to be hot because the sun the morning sun shine like you can see i'm in the sun the morning sun shines right on that door and that door was so hot so i couldn't paint it so i'm going to do it this afternoon when i get home from work or this evening the crickets and i will just paint again but i got one coat of paint of course you can see through it here i got one coat of paint on the trim ha! y'all can see me in the mirror i'm headed to work oh i'm grabbing the girls <laughs> Um, but you can see I had to do a little touch-up work. See that? This is going to be the new color compared to the old faded. But yeah, it looks so much better with the trim painted. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me go in here. Let me show you the inside. I did get two coats of paint on the inside last night. And it looks so much better with that frame painted. I'm very excited. So I'll get a third coat on here tonight and the inside might be done. Oh, there they are. They're waiting for me. See? Hey guys, come on in there. Hey. What you doing, bollocks? Hey, where's your chihuahua? Can you show them your chihuahua? Where is it? Is it over here? Oh, there it is. Y'all saw. Pollux's Chihuahua in the yard sale video. And here it is. It's dirty, but it's in one piece. He has not torn up the Chihuahua. <laughs> you love it, Pollux. Dirty Chihuahua. But happy Pollux. Right, Pollux? <laughs> Look at that beautiful tail. So, y'all can tell, I'm in my Crave in the Curl shirt. I gotta go to work, gotta roll some ice cream. And of all things, today is National Waffle Cone Day. So, we're giving away free waffle cones at Crave in the Curls. I wish you all could come down and have some ice cream with us, but I know you're far away. That's okay. But I'll see you when I get home tonight, and we'll finish painting that door. So, I just got home from work, and my plan... Sorry, took my hair down in the car. My plan was to paint the front door. I was gonna rush home paint the outside, but before it got too dark, and then put the last coat on the inside, but it's raining. It started raining on my way home. No rain in the forecast, supposed to be beautiful and sunny, but it's raining, so obviously, I'm not gonna get any painting done tonight. So, <laughs> messy. my door is gonna look like this, all spotty. No, you two, what are you doing? Are you watching mom? So my door is just going to look like this uh, until tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So if you drive by my house and this is what you see, sorry, neighbors. What are you doing? <laughs> so change of plans. I am going to paint the door. I told you it was raining and it is. It's cold. That's not fun. I don't want to be painting the door outside when it's cold and raining and dark. So I'm going to do the inside. I had made plans to paint tonight, and so Randy was just going to pick us up like something quick for dinner. So at 7.15, I've had dinner, I'm in my pajamas, and I figured, why not? Why not just paint the door? I wanted to show you a little trick, and I'm not a professional painter, but these are a little tips that I've learned because Randy and I painted our entire house. One winter, we painted all the walls in the entire house. We did it ourselves. I think I'm crooked. Uh -uh. <laughs> and then the following winter, we painted all of the trim, all the doors, any of the trim, the stairwell, the columns, like all of that stuff. So I have done a ton of painting in my time. And here are some tips. Here's what I've learned. This is my little paintbrush from last night and Y'all, I'm just not going to clean out my paintbrush. I'm using water-based paint, but if you just put it in an airtight, like, little baggie and squish the air out and squish it to your bristles, 
When I open this up, it's as good as new. I can just pull it right out and start painting. And then my little red container that I had poured some paint in so it was easy for me to carry, we just wrapped it up in a trash bag and kind of sealed it shut and that keeps your paint from getting yucky. So you just pop this off and there's my paint, good as new. So let me get my paintbrush out of here. See, it's still wet, just like it was a fresh brush last night. So what I love about this little thing, it has a magnet right there and you stick your brush to it and it holds. So if I need to put my brush down to go do something, this will hold my brush. Fantastic, yay Lowe's for having one of these. I don't know, handy paint pail, I guess, I don't know. But coat number three, here we go. This is the state of my door. It has been raining since Monday. This is day five of rain. I can't paint my door. I got one coat on the trim, but nothing. Nothing on my front door. The inside's painted, but the outside is just gonna look like this. Apparently, it's just gonna keep raining. But I decided today, because it is Friday, I don't have to be at the ice cream shop until 5.30. So I got dressed, I'm gonna go out shopping. I wanna find a new wreath for my front door. I wanna get something to like, this is my old wreath right there. I wanna get something to set at my front door and I just don't know what it is. And I thought you all would love to, oh, do you see that dog? He is on my newly painted door. Maxie! This is why I can't have nice things because I have dogs, but I'm gonna go shopping. But I'm gonna go shopping for a new wreath, some door decor, and there are a few other home decor items I want, and I thought you might like to go with me. I got nothing better to do, y'all. I'm gonna spend my day shopping. And I'm dressed, I'm cuted up, and I have something new that I am gonna take along with me and I think you're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. It arrived last night and I have not opened the bag. I'm so excited to see it. <gasps> da 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 da, my Teddy Blake box. So I was contacted by Teddy Blake the other day. This is the second time they've contacted me and said, hey Renee, we wanna send you our new handbag. And I said, well, send it on girl because I am loving my other Teddy Blake. And I thought since it's gloomy and rainy today, but I'm all cuted up and I'm going shopping. This is the perfect day to get out my new Teddy Blake and just take it shopping with me. And so I'm going to show you all what they sent. Y'all, ladies, if you are looking for a new handbag, you have got to check out Teddy Blake, teddyblake.com. If you're not familiar with them, just go look at their website. They have the most perfect handbags. They are luxury handbags at a very affordable price. And let me show you what they sent. I'm so excited. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what are you doing, Mom? The Teddy Blake arrived yesterday, and I love these boxes they come in. It's so exciting to get my new handbag. I haven't looked at it. I'm going to let y'all see it when I see it. Ooh, so exciting. I love their packaging, their designer handbags made in Italy. Oh, you can already smell the leather. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> he doesn't like this. Oh, look at that. They are just always packaged so beautifully. Teddy Blake does it right. It is not just some random handbag that is thrown in a, a poly bag and shipped to you. They have the best packaging. The handbags are always in this super nice bag. So if you want to store them in your closet, if you want to trade out handbags, you have a protected bag to keep it in. This is the most exciting thing that's happened to me today. Okay, ready? Oh. 
look at the pink accents on this handbag. The reason this is pink is because Teddy Blake did an exclusive design with Klarna. Do you all know what Klarna is? Well, let me explain it to you. I see it all the time. I just didn't honestly understand or know what it was but this is very cool. If you see something online or if you go to teddyblake.com and you see a handbag that you really, really want, but it's just something that you can't afford right now, you don't have enough money or it's just too much out of pocket, Klarna gives you the ability to buy now, buy the handbag you want, and you can pay for it later. You can pay for it in up to four installments with Klarna. So Teddy Blake partnered with Klarna to give you that option on their website. Now, this is a limited edition handbag, I'm told. This is called the, the, the shape of this bag is called the Eliza, and this is the nine inch bag. And the Eliza bag comes in a five inch, which is much smaller, and a 12 inch, which is much bigger. Bigger, but the special Eliza Klarna bag is this nine inch version. It has a shoulder strap that has the pink accents. Let me get my stuffing out of here. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that was in there. It has the little zip pouch in there for my lip gloss and my stuff that I just, I can't stand it when it roll, rolls around in my bag. That is a huge bonus. Oh my gosh, so excited. Get out my stuffing. Polish you want stuffing? <laughs> he said he'll take the stuffing. So cute, look at that. Pink inside. They try to come out with a new line of handbags every single month, which is mind blowing that they come out with all these new designs, but nothing ever hangs around for long. So if you all are interested in a Teddy Blake, there's so many designs on their site right now, including this Eliza Klarna, this exclusive bag with the pink trim. There is a discount code for you listed in the description box below my video so that you get a discount on teddyblake.com. Well, this has just made my day, y'all. I'm gonna put my stuff in my new Teddy Blake and I'm gonna take it shopping. So let's go. We got some fall shopping to do. Okay, so you know the saying, or I don't think it's a Southern thing, but since you was up, you might as well do whatever. Well, I decided since I'm out, there are a few other home decor things I've been needing, so why not, right? I'm just gonna do a little shopping. I need some hand towels for the guest bathroom and our master bathroom. We really could use a new rug in our bathroom, and then I'm gonna look for my front door decor. This is the wreath that I bought originally in Home Goods. I put it in the car just in case I did find something better. So I guess I'm gonna stick with the wreath. I did not find a single thing that I liked. I've been everywhere, so I'm gonna stick with the wreath. But while I was out, I decided to get a new comforter and a throw pillow for Kendall's bedroom. She took all her stuff with her when she went to school and I'm just gonna freshen up her room a little bit. And I did get a new bath rug for my master bathroom. Didn't find any other decor for my door. I just have a wreath, but that just may be what it is for now because I'm gonna be putting up Christmas stuff pretty soon. What all did I get, Paulix? Does it have good smells? Go check it out, Moo. Go check it out. See what mama got. I did get some things, right? <laughs> Here it is. What do you think? This front door was a big project. I decided to go with just this simple fall wreath from Home Goods. I didn't get any of the cute little plants or things to sit out front because honestly, it's early October now and come Thanksgiving weekend, I'm gonna put up all of my Christmas decor. So I hated to spend all that money on something that was only gonna be out here for a couple weeks. I'd rather wait until springtime and get something that's gonna last spring, summer and into next fall. 
This turned out to be a really big project. I needed three coats on each side of the door, and I did inside, and I did outside. Well, each coat took me an hour and a half, so if you do the math, I spent nine hours painting that door, and then I decided to repaint the um, rod iron, or the iron doormat thingy. I did that yesterday, which took me an hour. So I have 10 hours of painting in this door redo. It looks great. It looks refreshed. I'm happy with it. I'm glad I did it. Now it just needs to cure. It just took so long because for five straight days, it rained here. Five days. I got the end door or the inside of the door done. It's been done for a week, but I could not paint the outside. It was driving me crazy. Finally, this weekend, the sun came out. I was able to get the door painted and I'm calling it quits. I just love the simplicity of the fall wreath and nothing else. One thing I am gonna do, y'all, this is hardware that I bought a couple years ago. I'm not changing it out, but this is my dinky dinky doorbell and I wanna go get a new doorbell. We had this thing like unwired. When we had all three of our schnauzers, we had to disable our doorbell because if somebody rang the doorbell, our dogs lost their minds. And now that it's just Maxine Pollux, we actually hooked the doorbell back up a couple weeks ago. So before, I didn't really care what it looked like because I didn't want to draw attention to it. But now, I want a new doorbell. So that is one thing that I have to do. So now that I've redone my front door and my office and my dining room table, I'm going to show you what greets me when I come in my house now. So let's head inside. So this is my office. This is what I get to see when I come in the front door. And my little Mooey is here to greet me. My little white miniatures. Now they're right, Moo Moo. Sweet, sweet boy. Let's show him around, Mooey. Let's show him around. Pollux is outside. So here's my new front door. And my dining room. And then I'm hoping this winter to redo this. And let me show you a little something I did inside too. So this is my dining room table and I have my wreath on the, that, that wooden thing, whatever it's called. And I never take it down except for Christmas. I have a big Christmas thing I put up there. I decided to get this little wooden boat thing and fill it with some pumpkins and little acorns for the fall. So I kind of did a little redo on my dining room and the front door. Y'all go check out Dress Your Decor on Instagram. She has such I mean, amazing videos. They're little short videos. She has given me so much inspiration. I, I, I love this lady's Instagram page, but there are things all over my house that I wanna do now. So I'm excited. So you can take like grand ideas that she shows you and you can take little pieces and parts of them or you can scale them down and just make something fit for your house. Just something as small as me changing out my basket on my dining room table just made a world of difference. I love it. But thank you all for watching. That's my front door makeover, even though it did take me two weeks. <laughs> but I'm so glad that it's done now. I think it looks great. It freshened up the inside of my house, my foyer. It definitely freshened up the outside and I'm good to go until I wanna change the color. I'll see you later.